bakit kailangan mo maging bonggaceous? Ano na? Ay! Ang aso kong attached to me. Ano na? Ano na? One moment. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. To the Foxy Fox Roxy's channel. So, for today's video guys, I'm going to share you some tips How did I pass my J1 visa interview? First of all, lahat ng mga tips na sasabihin ko sa inyo is based on my experience and according to what some of my researches and I'm not saying that if you did all the things I said or suggestions meaning you're gonna pass it too it's uh you're still the one who needs to project and you're still the one who need to present yourself in front of the console so let's start guys um let on my previous video i shared to you guys my j1 journey um so like what i said uh j1 journey is like a cultural exchange program na uh, which is nabigyan ako ng chance na magawa yon. So, in my previous video, guys, I said that my employer here in the United States is the Alida Hotel. So, this is one of my souvenir ko sa kanila. This is the Alida shirt. So, I'm going to put the link in the description box. Um, some information about the Alida Hotel. So, guys... Ano ba, Doggy? Huwag ka mali ko. Tanggoblog ako. Yung aso ko. Kuli? Stay. Okay? Diyan ka lang. Huwag ka mali ko. Tanggoblog ako. Gagalit sila. So, yun guys. Um, so, number one. Bring all the required documents. So, syempre, gaya nang sabi ko dun sa previous video ko kailangan may ipasa mo yung visa interview mo kasi yun yung huling pagsubok na kailangan pagdaanan. So, it doesn't mean na hired ka na sa employer mo. Assurance na yun na makakapunta ka ng US. No. No, no, no. Kailangan mo pa rin ipasa itong visa interview. So, number one, of course, bring all the required documents. So, parang sa gera, kailangan armado ka. So, kailangan lahat ng required documents, of course, your passport, your training plan, and um, the letter, the schedule appointment, patunayan na may schedule ka for that day, and to buy the pictures. I said all those requirements uh, in my previous video. Ay, nga na naman dugi. So guys, that's my dog. His name is Bay. He's a German Shepherd, half Belgian Malinois. Ay, my goodness. Para ko pa ng camera na hikab hikab ha. So guys, don't mind him. Um, yun guys. Um, of course, kung ano yung oras ng ah appointment mo, please be on time. Mas ah ano ba? Much better kung pupunta kayo ng mas maaga. Kailangan punctual. Latecomers is not allowed. This is not a school. This is not a job. This is very important. So kailangan on time ka. Hindi ka pa din malit. And of course, wear formal or corporate attire. So sure, kailang mo naman ibase yung apply mo sa susuot mo. So since I'm a J1 visa applicant. I need something uh, to show that I'm an educated person. So I wear something of uh, corporate attire. So that time I wear a skirt, not really a super short skirt. And I wear a blouse and a coat or a blouse.
blazer. So, yun yung guys. Kasama din doon sa attire mo is yung makeup. Yung eyes ng buhok mo, kailangan uh, hindi bongga, hindi ka parang ikakasal or sasagala. So, yung makeup mo ganun din. Uh, mas simple, mas maganda. Mas simple, um, mas okay. And, yun din yung naisip ko guys, na bakit mag apply ka ng visa or like a student program visa, bakit kailangan mo maging bonggaceous? Ano na? Ay, just ko po guys. <laughs> Magpasensya nyo na ang aso kong masyadong attached to me. Ano na? Ano na? One moment, okay? So, yun guys. Um, wag kayong pupunta doon ng parang lalaban kayo ng beauty pageant. Mas simple, mas maganda. Um, hindi mo kailangan magsuot ng uh, bonggang hikaw, complete accessories, um, mas plain, mas okay. Um, just watch or a piece of uh, stud earrings, not a chandelier earrings, mas maganda. And sa lipstick, well, kasi mayroon, ba, syempre bago ako sumabak ng uh, visa interview ko, nag gumawa ako ng mga research. And they said, wearing the color of lipstick is, the, uh, it doesn't matter. So, if you want to wear red, wear red, as long as you can wear it, or as long na kaya mong uh, pangalanda ka ng wearing red lipstick ka. And for the makeup, uh, mas simple, mas okay. Um, kasi estudyante ka eh, mag apply ka ng for cultural exchange. So, hindi ka naman lalaban ng uh, Miss Universe para, alam mo yun, saan na kami yung point ko guys. And then, number four, Huwag mong ipahalata ang kinakabahan ka. Siyempre, gaya nung sabi ko sa last video ko, ito yung pinaka-crucial o napakahirap na process na kasi maraming bumabagsak. Naunahan kasi tayo ng takot na maraming nade-deny, maraming bumabagsak. So, baka ikaw din or ako din. So, that time, kahit na kinakabahan ako in my, sa loob-loob ko, hindi ko alam kung ano na nangyayari sa katawan ko. Siyempre, kinabahan ako. Kinakabahan ako. Pero, uh, rules guys, huwag niyo ipapahalat ang kinakabahan kayo. So, sa US Embassy, it's by window. Hindi ito yung iniisip natin na papasok kayo sa isang opisina and then dun gagawin yung interview. Parang yung job interview, ganun. So, hindi yung ganun. So, there's a lot of windows na bawat windows may isang konsul and then may mga tao na mag a-assist sa inyo sa ang win uh, what is your window number so ako na sign ako if i'm not mistaken is window 12 and it's a white american girl ang um, konsul na nag-interview sa akin and there's a platform there that you can put your documents sa may window and on the other side, of course, the console. Um, I didn't put my hands in the window, in the board there. Kasi baka manginig yung kamay ko. Which is, I don't want to show to her that I'm nervous. So, may chill lang ako. At, of course, unang pagtungtong mo pa lang sa window, guys. Wear your uh, prettiest smile mag-smile kayo kasi ipakita nyo na masaya kayo and once na nag-smile ka you gonna feel na kaya mo to hindi ka pangungunahan ng kaba so mag-smile ka sa harap ng console kasi knowing Americans they don't want boring person they want a person that is cool and one of being cool is you're smiling you're not a lame person or you're not a saddest person in the world. So, yon Mag-smile kayo, guys. And, ipakita nyo na you are very uh, happy that time. Huwag nyo talit ang kabado kayo. And, what else? Yung mga tanong, of course, answer them direct and 
huwag kayong paligoy-ligoy. And of course, this is very important. Huwag kayong maging invento ng sagot. Huwag kayong magsisinungaling. So, honesty is the best policy. So, anong ibig kong sabihin sa pagiging direct uh, answer? Kung may tanong sila sa inyo, so for example, in my situation, she asked me, what is your sponsor? Of course, I tell my sponsor is International Educational Exchange. That's it. You don't need to tell that, oh, it's in base in United States, blah, blah, blah. Kung ano lang yung tanong nila sa inyo, yun lang yung isasagot nyo. The more na paligoy-ligoy ka, the more na magtatanong pa sila ng um, sandam mo ka na tanong or um, baka mahanapin ka pa ng bukas. And then, um, sabi ko, answer the questions very honest. So, lahat ng documents na dala mo, iti-check nila yan. And hindi mo alam, may record na sila first at hand kung ano yung mga kailangan mong isagot na kapag hindi yon katugma dun sa mga documents na dala mo, dagot na. Babagsa ka na. So, yon answer them direct and honest. So, walang paligoy na sagot. And, so, in my case, after that, um, gano'n ko katagal daw magstay sa US, ano daw yung ano daw yung pangalan ng name ng employer ko sa US, sa ang state ako sa US, and then, gaya nung sinabi ko dun sa una kong video guys, aralin yung maigi yung training plan nyo. So, yung training or inter internship placement plan, kasi doon sila usually nagbabase ng questions. So, in my situation, she asked me, uh, what are the four phases no um, training plan ko? And then, um, since in, hindi naman niya, then dun sa first question, uh, what is the phase one of your training plan? Then I said, uh, the phase one is the orientation, blah, blah, blah. And one of my mentor for the interview, she said, uh, kailangan mong i-memorize lahat na nasa training plan kasi doon talaga sila naghahanap ng question doon nila malalaman kung talagang seryoso ka sa ina-applyan mo doon nila malalaman kung familiar ka sa ina-applyan mo so ilang gabi akong hindi na tulog or I mean ilang gabi akong puyat guys sa pag-memorize sa pag-aaral nitong training plan na to guys, hindi po siya 2 pages lang makapal po siya, napakarami niyang paces pace 1 consists of a lot of things you need to memorize and this is con consists of 4 paces, so napakahirap niya guys, napakadami niyang pages, so yun guys you need to memorize your training plan, sa ayaw mo at sa hindi kailangan mong i-memorize yan or else Sayang lahat ng paghihirap. Sayang lahat ng pagod. And then, swerte mo kung hindi ka tatanungin about your training plan. But usually, if you're a genuine visa applicant, nagbe sila dito sa training plan. So, my mentor said, if she asks you to answer the pace, don't stop. Tell everything na inaral mo sa training plan. Which is I did. So, she said, what's in your training, uh, uh, phase one of your training plan? I said, everything. But, she already stopped me before I said everything in the training plan. So, I think I just said one or two sentences and she already stopped me. She asked me the second phases and the third phase and the fourth phase. So, doon makikita ng konsul kung talagang inaral mo yung training plan mo. So, hanggat hindi ka niya sinasabihan na stop, sabihin mo nang sabihin yung mga inaral mo. Sayang din naman yung inaral mo ng ilang gabi, di ba? Yung ilang gabi pinagpuyatan mo. So, ayun guys, kailangan yung aralin talaga yung training plan kasi doon sila nag-base. Lagi ko yung sasabihin sa inyo, aralin niyo yung mabuti. Kahit man nakakatamad, kahit na-graduate na kayo at 
Ano ba yan? Another memorization na naman. Pero kung gusto nyo talaga makapunta ng US, kailangan nyo gawin ang sinabi ko. Kailangan nyo aralin yung training plan nyo. Aralin, aralin, aralin. I-memorize nyo. So, yun guys. Actually, hindi siya maraming tinanong sa akin. Which is, I'm very thankful. Um, again lang, yung mga um, highlighted questions na may share ko sa inyo. What else? Usually, it's all about training plan lang naman. But others, you can answer it correctly. And of course, like what I said earlier, you need to answer it very honest. Um, ayun lang guys. So, once na... So, bale, dun sa console, kukunin nila yung passport mo, yung other documents mo, but usually, they just get the passport. And they're gonna said um, congratulations, your visa application is approved. Kukunin nila si passport mo, and then, probably like, three days or a week, makukuha mo ulit yung passport mo, isasad nila pabalik sa'yo, pero mayroon nang nakalagay na visa. So, yan yung passport na naka, ilalagay nila yung US visa mo. And then, kapag naman hindi ka nakapasa, sasabihin nila sa'yo, I'm sorry, but uh, we need to deny your application. So, kung pasa ka, kukunin nila yung passport mo. Pag hindi, ibabalik nila yung passport mo. I mean, apply ka ulit ng panibago. Gaya ng sabi ko sa inyo guys, hindi ma hindi mura ang pag-apply ng US visa. So, kailangan sa una pa lang, dalingan nyo na. Bigay nyo na lahat yung best nyo. Gawin nyo na yung lahat ng mga kaya nyo. So, sa una pa lang, dahil tumataginting na 8,000 yung bayad. So, gawin nyo na lahat ng best nyo guys. Uh, what else? By the way guys, um, like, do sa previous video ko nga pala, so sinabi ko, uh, isinare ko yung about my J1 journey. And so this shirt, like what I said earlier in the first part of the video, um, this is my souvenir from my employer. And this shirt naman is the shirt from the restaurant. So I'm a food and beverage trainee. And this shirt, the red restaurant, is one of the dining restaurant in the Alida Hotel. So, ilalagay ko yung description or the link to Alida Hotel para magka-idea kayo kung ano yung mga ano yung lugar na pinagdarausan ko ng J1 training. Ayan, na naman. So, ayan guys. For this video, yun lang. Ay, by the way, yung nga pala, ano na best? Tataranta na ako kasi naman nakakaya kay Bess. Isa shoutout ko nga pala si Jonathan Martins. Ayan. Hello Bess. Nasa Middle East po siya. Saudi nga ba Bess? Ano ba Bess? So yung Bess. Ito na ha. Sinoutout na kita ha. Kaya lang ka uwi ng Pilipinas. So hopefully pag uwi man ng Pilipinas andun rin ako. So ayun lang guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag- uh, supporta and pag-watch nitong video na to hopefully meron kayong natutunan at nakuhan tips sa akin like or mag-comment kayo if you have any questions or clarifications um, ano yung mga gusto nyo pang malaman na baka alam ko or pwede kong i-share sa inyo comment lang po kayo and don't forget to subscribe on my video for the next informational videos na is i share ko rin sa inyo Maraming salamat and bye! Thank you.